in this video, we will be taking you guys with us as we venture into the high country where we will be scouting mule deer for the 2018 Utah archery hunt. Well guys, we are on our way up to our little paradise inn. Anyways, um, I thought to show you um, our pack um, by Alps, but uh, when we get up to our camp, I'll kind of show you what I have in it. It's their uh, Extreme Series. It's the Commander X, I believe, by Alps. Pretty good bag. Um, I could show some pictures of us uh, carrying out a deer, but uh, this right here zips off and this whole bag comes off so it's just the frame. Perfect for carrying uh, your, uh, your meat out. And then these clips right here, you could actually attach your bag back onto your frame with the meat in between the bag and the frame. It's pretty cool. It has a spot where you could uh, put your sidearm for protection from the predators. Over on this other side I have just a browning knife. And it still has some deer blood on it. But kind of use that as an axe. But yeah, it's loaded down with a bunch of stuff. Some minerals for the deer for the trail cameras. Some camping gear. Yep, we got a ways to go, a little bit more to hike, but going. Alright, so we got to our camp number two. The camp we are going to get to in the morning is up on top, but we're going to camp here. So I'm going to do a quick bag dump to show you uh, what I got. So the Alps Outdoors Commander X pack. There's another pack that comes on here, but I didn't bring it. So on top here, we have some minerals for the deer outside the trail camera. Got some breakfast, some dinner, just a little bit of snacks and stuff, a med kit, a jet boil. some fuel and then with my clothing I wrap it my, my camera up so I got a Ridge Reaper Under Armour Baron hoodie or a beanie I got a face shoe this is my long sleeve shirt with the lenses gloves hoodie which I'm going to be putting on soon, spotting scope, just a tin canteen cup, a tarp just in case it rains, you know, you don't want to be prepared, got my tent poles, that's thermocell, the bugs, my e-tool, Cheap socks. Got my uh, tripod here. And then in here, got all my sleeping systems. Got my tent. Sleeping bag. Gotta have your pillow. And my mat. And that is what I carried up here. And in here I just have my wallet, toilet paper, you know, spoon, and yeah, that's all I really have in here. Batteries for the trail cameras, deodorant, adapter to the phone scope, yep. This is what you need to eat. That's it. fire 
are going. So we're up at camp. I don't know if you can see it, but we got the jet boil. The jet boil going. Got some food. Tents all set up. We got we got a uh, our fire going over here. Nice fire going. Welcome to our camp, humanoids. This is a tactical spork. Now, <laughs> there's people that are like, "That's not a spork. It doesn't have the fork on the spoon." No. You see this? There's a fork, knife for tactical reasons, and the spoon. That's in case you gotta cut up a squirrel on the you, hill. You rarely use the, you know, who you, no spoon. You get more food. You gotta fill what up. What is your, it you got there, anyways? It's a mountain house. Um, something fajita. I don't know. It's pretty good. It's over there cooking. Might in that put bag. a little bit too much water in it, so it's more of a soup, but it's still pretty good. There ain't nothing better than this. Good morning, everyone. It is a little later in the morning than we hoped, but we're getting out. We are going to go up the mountain, or up the hill up here, and to our glass spot and see what we can see. So, it'll be fun. Get my boots on. And check out. So we uh, made it up to our glass spot. Um, got the jet boil. Jet boil going. We got some breakfast. Some, uh, breakfast skillet. It has hash browns and scrambled eggs mixed with pork sausage patty and pepper and onion. So it's going to be pretty good. Um, if you could hear me over the stove. But, uh, we got our thermocell. Got a thermocell on. Just because the freaking mosquitoes are pretty, pretty bad up here. But have a good time up here and glass up some some deer um, we already seen a doe and a pretty I guess decent size I mean depending on who you are but there's a good size two point down here on the way up to our glass point but uh yep Just made it to our first trail cam spot. Check this one. We just kind of put it in the spot to see what's going to be coming down in this area. It looks like it's still here. 
42 pitchers. So, go ahead. Taking pictures of us right now. Go ahead and check it. We'll let you know if uh, there's anything good on it. Check it. So, the only thing we really caught on this trail camera was just, I don't know, kind of an interesting creature. Um, it was bedded down over here, but uh, I'll show you what creature. It seems like a special creature, something that... Well, I don't know, man, like... He seems to be relaxed, but, yeah, but look at that. It's oh like, my God, he looks retarded. Came in around 1 o'clock on the 16th. <laughs> um, 1 p.m. Where's up? I mean, he's probably a Boone and Crockett. <laughs> he does look... Like, he just had a bad day. Like, he's just, like... Like, it's not running season for him or anything. Or he got kicked out of the bachelor herd or something. Looks tired to me. Looks like a nice young buck. So, uh... We'll let you know if we find any real animals. Yeah. I'm pretty excited about the next trail camera we're gonna go look at, so... We are going to go up on this uh, saddle up here and glass up over the top and see what we will be able to see. So, we got a little bit of ways to go. We gotta climb this hill. So, it's not that far, but. Well, let you guys know what we see. So, we're walking up to this trail camera that we have some pretty high hopes for. We uh, dropped some minerals up there on a thing we're calling the highway. Because it's just a easy route to get to all these other places. But we're going to check this cam right here. The stealth cam. And... Uh, we will let you know what we find. Oh, there's a moose. Yeah. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. There's a freaking moose. Oh, oh the calf. Yeah. A little calf with her. Oh, don't you all look at that? Cool. There's our first little buck. Yeah. Right there. And a little, little buck. Coming through. And that's only one week, man. That's a lot of action so far. Mm. Oh, that's a different buck, dude. Yeah, that's a different he one than what we right saw. right in front of it. Yeah, look at that guy. He laid right... Dude, this is exciting. He's here coming right through. Jeez. Is that an elk? I don't freaking know, dude. This oh, is what we're seeing. God. If that's a deer, <laughs> holy crap. <laughs> oh, shoot. What is this happening, dude? No, it's a deer. Oh. Holy. Is that that wide four point? Yeah, look at this that's guy. That's a drop time, dude. All those freaking points coming off, dude. And that's crazy. And I'll try to flip through them for you. Well, we're going to fix the camera, maybe angle it down a little bit, but we're going to put some minerals out here and then some down there. So, uh, it's looking pretty good so far. 